Okay, so again, as a review class, uh, kung na ano ninyo class na na ulit ninyo yung ating recorded lecture kagabi, of course na na-discuss natin doon. Pag sinabi nating planning, that is ang tanda niyo lang, that is determination in advance of how the objectives of the organization will be attained. Or simply, ang tanda niyo lang doon is determination in advance on what to be done. Okay, so yan yung pagsasabi nating uh, planning. Of course, There is the process of developing methods or procedures for an arrangement of parts intended to facilitate the accomplishment of a definite objective of first class. In every uh, accomplishment, hindi yan magiging successful kapag walang yung tinatawag natin na planning. Tama di ba? Kahit halimbawa, kahit anong uh, ginagawa mo, kahit lecturer ka, dapat alam mo uh, ano yung pagpaplano, ano yung effective na pag-lecture. Uh, magsasalita ka lang ba? May interaction sa iba? Or so on. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na planning. Same as true with police planning, di ba? So, paano maging effective yung police? Uh, tatambay lang ba? Mostly sa patrol? Or tatambay lang ba sa opisina? So, yan yung tinatawag natin na planning class. It is very important. Of course, makadevelop ka ng methods or procedures. Okay? Kaya, di ba, sa akin, as a lecturer, uh, as much as possible, Uh, every time na nagde-lecture ako, meron akong nade-develop, meron akong naiisip na bago para, of course, di ba? Uh, Siyempre, uh, that is original sa akin. Kung uh, i-copy man nila, no problem, di ba? ba? Ang importante, ako yung original doon, di ba? So, yun rin sa, sa police service kasi very important yung tinatawag natin na planning, di ba? So, halimbawa, uh, sa criminal law, uunahin muna yung book one Okay, ipahuli mo na yung book to kasi mas marami yung book to. So that is also a planning, di ba? O kaysa naman, uh, or depende rin sa'yo, book one, book two, or yung itutuloy-tuloy mo. Okay rin yan. Kasi di ba, iba-iba rin yung strategies, methods, and procedures na meron tayo. Okay, so of course, it is the process of deciding in advance. Nakalagay, di ba? It is the process of designing in advance on uh, what to be done and how is to be done. Okay, of course, ano yung mga... Ano yung procedures, ano yung methods na susundin niyo to accomplish the specific uh, objective na tinatawag natin. Kaya that is of course the planning. Pag sinabi naman nating plan as a review class, of course it is the result of the planning. Okay? So of course, uh, dahil sa pagpaplano na, nagkaroon tayo ng definite plan. Okay? It is an organized schedule or sequence by methodological or methodical uh, activities intended to attain a goal or objective. So, of course, that is the plan. Of course, it is a method or uh, of doing something in order to attain the objectives or provides answers sa tinatawag natin na 5 W's and 1 H. Di ba? Ulitin natin, ang tanda nyo lang, pag sinabi nating uh, planning, it is the determination in advance on how, of, on how or how to be done and what to be done or deciding in advance. Di ba? Uh, kaysa naman na uh, mangyayari muna yung crime before ka mag-decide. So that is not a planning. So that is reactive in nature. Dapat prospective in nature tayo. Okay? So then, of course, ang plan, it is the what we call the result of the planning. Okay? So, of course, to attain the objectives. And provides answers for the 5 W's and 1 H. So, very important rin class, yung 5 W's and 1 H na meron tayo. Mamaya, explain natin further kung ano yung tawag natin dito. Then, of course, we will discuss or ano yung kaibahan is strategy, tactics, procedures, and policy. Okay, pag sinabi natin strategy, of course, it is a broad design or method or plan to attain a stated goal. Tanan nyo, it is a broad design. Okay, ibig sabihin na malawa, wala siyang specific. Okay, design or method or plan to attain a stated goal or objective that is strategy. Alam ba, paano ko ba paano ko ba yung uh, ano natin? Paano ko ba ipapasa yung board exam? Magfo-focus ba ako sa isang area or lahat ng area uh, bigyan ko ng equal attention or equal footing kahit 75 lahat ng area? At then, papasa ako. Or mag-focus ako sa criminal law kasi yun yung gusto ko lang. Kaya diba, uh, guilty kayo, no? Kasi, uh, kasi nag-focus na kayo palagi sa criminal law. Um, or mag-focus na ako sa criminal law tapos pabayaan ko yung ibang area. Okay, that is strategy. Okay, pero at the end, babagsak ka doon. Okay, so dapat alam nyo kung paano mo i-weigh in. Kung saan ka mag... Uh, 
saan ka maging uh, makabag-benefit. Okay? So, yan yung purpose ng tinatawag na tina strategy. It is a broad uh, design. Okay? Or, or plan na tinatawag natin. It is a broad design. Ako ba? Then, of course, we have the tactics naman. Okay, ang uh, kung ang strategy, it is the broad design. Tanda nyo, it is the broad design. Pag sinabi naman natin uh, tactics, it is the specific design. Okay, nakuha niyo Again, ulitin nyo lang ha. Pag sinabi natin strategy, it is the broad design. While the tactics naman, it is the specific design. Or it is the method or course of action to attain a particular objective in consonance with strategy. Of course, it is connected with strategy. Tanda niyo, ang strategy, of course, it is the broad design. Medyo ma, ma, malawak yung kaniyang scope. While ang tactics naman, specific design and class. Of course, it is connected or in relation to strategy. Specific. Halimbawa, uh, uh, halimbawa sa Leia, ang uh, sa TOS natin, ang ang subject ninyo class is uh, security. Then what specific uh, security is uh, personal security. That is what we call the tactics. Ang strategy, yung title. Okay, nakuha niyo? Kasi nga ang strategy, it is the broad design. While the tactics class, it is the specific design to attain a specific or particular objective. Nakuha? Okay, again, yan ang tanan broad design and specific design. Then, of course, we have the uh, procedures. Ang procedures naman, sequences, of course, uh, in order. Sequences of activities to reach a point or to attain what is desired. Tanan nyo, procedure. Hindi ka pwedeng pumunta sa number one. Ay, hindi ka na pwedeng pumunta sa number three kung hindi ka pa dumaan sa number one. Kasi nga, di ba, that is procedures. Sequences of activities. Okay? Ano ba ba? Sa board exam, hindi ka pwedeng mag-answer agad-agad kung hindi mo pa nabasa yung tanong. Di ba? So, same as true. With procedures. So, yan yung tanatawag natin na procedure. Dapat avoid rushing. Kasi nga, meron tayong sequence, meron tayong sinusunod in order. Whether it is an in number or uh, whether it is a numerical or whether it is in alphabets, di ba? So 1 to 10 or A to D and so on. So yan yung tanatawag natin na procedure. Sequence of activities. Then of course, we have the policy. Tanda nyo na sa policy class, it is the course of action. Yan yung keywords natin yan na. That is the course of action which uh, could be a program of actions adopted by an individual. Tanda nyo, again, ang policy, it is the course of action. Okay, course of action uh, could be a program na actually adopted by individual. Halimbawa, may in-implement yung school na niyo na ganito, bawal muna mag, mag board exam yung kaka-graduate natin kasi uh, pinapangalaga natin yung uh, passing rate. Okay, that is a policy. Okay, it is the course of action which could be a program action abducted by an individual. Later on, ma-adapt rin yan. Ah, ganito pala. Bakit uh, nag-apply nag or bakit uh, ganito yung policy ng school natin na hindi pwedeng, uh, hindi pwedeng mag, uh, mag-take muna yung fresh graduate na wala pang review. Okay, di ba? That is the policy, the course of action. Okay, uh, or it is a program of actions adopted by an individual. Whether we like it or not, susundin natin yan kasi of course, that is for the benefit uh, of the school. Okay, and of course, sa inyo rin, para masigurado na in uh, one take or in just uh, first take, mat- mapapasa nyo na ang board exam. So, yan yung purpose ng tanatawag natin na policy. Okay, again, pag sinabi natin strategy class, ang tanda nyo lang, it is the broad design. Ang tactics naman, that is specific design in relation to strategy. Ang procedures naman, that is the sequence of activities or the sequence. Ang policy naman, that is the course of action. Nakuha ninyo, class? Nakuha ba? Nakunin? <laughs> nakuha? Nakunin. Nakunin. Okay. Ayan. So, nakunin. So, ayan. Uh, tingnan natin kung hindi nyo pa makuha yung sagot dito. So, ayan. Mamaya, after natin mag-discussion, after mapasa ko yung live, dapat i-take note niyo ulit to siya. Halimbawa, ilagay nyo strategy, bro design. Tactics naman, specific design, procedure, sequence, ang policy that is the course of action. Okay? Nakuha? Okay. So, ayan. Nakunin. Okay. Parang nasa PE3 tayo ah. Okay, nasa swimming. Okay, next tayo. Okay, then of course, we have the case operational plan or COP plan na tinatawag natin. Of course, last pasadahan na natin. 
Tandaan niyo pag sinabi natin case operational plan, it is a definite target or it is a specific activity conducted in relation to an intelligence project under which is affected. Of course, it is relation to intelligence. Ha? Kung yan yung tanatawag natin na COPLAN, it is a definite specific activity conducted in relation to an intelligence project. Of course, uh, tanatawag rin natin ang case operational plan as preparatory plan class on how to carry out a case operation which is the last resort to pursue intelligence objectives when the normal police operation fails. Diba? Kapag halimbawa, hindi naman maiiwasan ma na mag-fail talaga yung ating previous plan. So of course, meron tayong case operational plan. Case-to-case -case basis. Okay, when the police or when the normal police operation fails, the uh, case operational plan will automatically be activated. So yan yung tanatawag natin na COP plan. Okay, case operational plan natin. Then of course, we have the command or command post or holding area. Of course, di ba, uh, natapa na encounter niya to during your internship, di ba? Meron tayong command post or holding area. Of course, kung saan nangyayari yung conferences, briefings, and debriefings are being conducted by responding agencies. Okay, so pag sinabi natin briefings class, of course, di ba, ibibrief ka on what uh, those and don'ts. Ang debriefing naman, ibig sabihin, parang uh, ano yan, i-debrief. Okay, so ibig sabihin parang, Uh, yung sinabi sa iyo or nang na-brief sa iyo kukunin 'yon kaya 'di ba debriefing okay debriefing then of course we have the dragnet operation ang dragnet operation naman it is a police operation purpose to seal off yung probable exit points of fleeing suspect from the uh, to prevent from escape so yan yung dragnet point natin of course 'di ba tatawagan natin yung isang uh, ano doon isang uh, isang point doon para of course hindi maka makatakas yung tinatawag natin na a suspect that is dragnet operation. So yan lang naman class. So um di uh, fami familiarize na siguro para mas maintindihan niyo. Then of course uh, again pag sinabi natin planning it is the process of deciding in advance what to do, ano yung mga gagawin natin, how to do it, what is the processes and who is to do it. So yan yung tinatawag natin na planning. Then of course we have the uh, guidelines in planning that yun yung tinatawag natin na 5 W's and 1 H. Okay, of course, number one, what it talks about class, the mission or the objective of the uh, planning. Ang why naman, that is the reason or the philosophy behind why we are conducting planning. Then of course, when it is the date or time kung kailan natin i um, patupad yung planning na yan. And of course, where it is the, of course, the place, diba? the situs or the geographical area. Then of course, how that is the strategy or the methods na ina imply natin or ina imply natin in uh, in planning. So again, ito yung guidelines and planning or yung 5Ws and 1H. Again, planning that is the determination in advance or deciding in advance on what to do, how to do it, and who is to do it. That is the planning. Okay? So of course, there is self-explanatory or self-understandable yung mga question or yung mga topics na to. Okay. So medyo ano, ano eh, yung, yung travel ko from Uh, bukas from Jensen to Naiya hanggang Katanduanes ano yon aabutin class ng 12 hours yung yung bus yung bus na sasakyan ko ay pagdating ko air ay uh, aeroplano pagdating ng Manila Manila to Katanduanes sasakay pa yung ano yung yung bus sa, sa barge at ayun sa ano kaya ayun hindi ko sana pupuntahan eh kasi so medyo parang na excited ba kaka excited yung ganoon. First time ko na kasi palagi na lang ako nag ano eh nag plane. <laughs> so sino ba yung kasama diyan? Si si Lloyd, kasama ka Lloyd, Sir. Lo nakapak na ako maleta. Ay nakapak na, ready to go. <laughs> okay, so maganda sana yo kapag may kasama no, pero sige lang, next year na lang. <laughs> Joke la. Uh, ano yun para ano ma-enjoy yung yung view. So ayan. So ganun ka sa dapat Soon, uh, maging lecture, national lecturer rin kayo, di ba? Uh, uh, hindi malabo yan kasi, di ba? Lahat ng expenses, bayad yan nila class, lahat. So, di ba? Ano ang ano na lang, mag-enjoy. Then, of course, uh, alam, um, hindi ka naman kailangan mag-study, di ba? Kasi, of course, alam na alam mo naman yung i-lecture mo. So, uwi ako class ng ano, uh, November 12, but still, continuous pa rin yung klase natin na every night. Okay, so yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Sige, next. Okay, we have the planning approaches class. Of course, tandaan nyo ang planning approaches. Of course, we have five uh, major approaches of planning. Of course, tandaan nyo lang yung tinatawag natin na SITAR. Okay, yan yung acronym natin class for uh, for planning. Of course, we have the uh, synoptic planning, incremental, trans, uh, tr- transitive, uh, advocacy, and of course, the uh, we have the radical. Ang transitive or yan yung tinatawag natin na transactive planning. So, mamaya ma-explain natin one by one kung ano yung mga tinatawag or ano yung tinatawag natin na SITAR. Okay, yung, ito yung SITAR ah. Okay, yan yung uh, five uh, major approaches to planning CITAR. Of course, I know na daanan niya yan during your undergrad. And of course, i-exemplify natin para mas mabilis or mas madali ninyong maunawaan. Okay, what is uh, the approaches in planning? Okay, so of course, uh, dito tayo, number one, we have the synoptic planning. Ang synoptic planning class, tanda niyo lang, it is a problem-oriented approach to planning. Ibig sabihin, ang focus niya class is on the problem and of course of course kapag may problema so ang solution yung hinahanap natin on how to uh, to resolve or to uh, to solve yung particular um uh dilemma or problem na meron tayo kaya nagkaroon tayo ng synoptic planning it is the problem oriented approach to planning nawa it is the synoptic planning problem oriented approach to planning. So, of course, yan yung ano natin. Ang focus yun lang problem-oriented to planning. Then, of course, we have the incremental planning. And incremental planning naman class, it is a uh, long range. Okay? It is a long range and comprehensive planning. But, of course, there is a side effect of planning and it is considered uh, it is inherently bad. Yun yung tinatawag natin na incremental planning. So, Ayan, so adverse effect of planning. Then we have the transactive planning. Ang transactive planning, of course, there is an interpersonal dialogue, di ba? So halimbawa, mag-order ka online. Okay, so then of course, makikita kayo, there is an interpersonal dialogue or kapag i-connect natin sa police service, okay, ang transactive planning, halimbawa, uh, yung uh, direct or yung uh, chief of police ng isang municipality pupunta sa isang um isang chief police ng another city or municipality then mag-uusap sila class yan yung tinatawag natin na transactive planning okay there is an interpersonal dialogue there is an exchange of conversation between the the person so that's why it is a transactive planning nakuha in there is an interpersonal dialogue then of course we have the advocacy planning naman ang advocacy planning there is a greater sensitivity to unintended and negative side effects of the plan. Uh, Tanda nyo lang ang advocacy, great, there is a greater sensitivity to the unintended and negative side effects of plan. Of course, in every ano, diba? in every positive uh, outcome, meron talagang negative side effects of plan dyan. Uh, that is also, that is normal na. Then of course, we have the radical planning. Ang uh, radical planning naman, of course, the uh, yung structure and evolution of social problems. Okay, ibig sabihin nagbabago, 'di ba, yung mga existing problem. Kaya that's why na ayun na rin dapat yung pagpaplano natin. There are developments or changes when it comes to the plan, lalo na kapag sa police planning. Okay, again, ang CITAR natin, ang plat- planning approaches na meron tayo, we have the CITAR. Again, pag sinabi nating synoptic, that is problem oriented. Pag sinabi nating incremental, that is long range and comprehensive planning. And transactive naman, there is an interpersonal dialogue, ang advocacy naman, there is a greater sensitivity. Then we have the radical planning, of course, yung uh, structure and evolution of social problems. Okay? So yan yung uh, planning approaches. Actually, class, I already explained it sa mga reels ko. Ito yung planning approaches. So kung nakikita nyo dyan, okay, panoorin nyo na lang ulit. Of course, uh, mas maganda yung na- narinig nyo mismo sa akin dito. Okay? So yan yung tanatawag natin na planning approaches. Okay, next. Okay, so pakibasa nga, okay, mag ano ako para magkaroon tayo ng interaction. Uh, pakibasa nga Sir Cantor, Sir Cantor. Nandiyan ba si Sir Cantor? Uh, then of course, explain ko after right after. Wala ba? Wala si Sir Cantor. 
Okay, so wala. So magtatawag ako ng next na magbabasa. Okay, para magkaroon tayo ng interaction class. Okay, so next si uh, Sir De La Torre. Kinds of police plans are P P2M. Uh, P2M stands for number one, procedural plans. These plans constitute the SOP of the organize, or, organization. Number two, tactical plans represent the application of procedures to a specific situation. Number three, operational plans include the work programs of the line division. Number four, extra department plans action or assistance from persons or agencies outside the police organization. And number five, management plans, equipping, staffing, and preparing the police organization to do the job. Okay, thank you. Okay, so again, so we have the kinds of police clan. Ang kanina class, meron tayong uh, sitar. Ngayon, dito naman tayo, meron naman tayong P2M. Okay, P2M yan. Okay, yung letter P, that stands for procedural plan. Yung T naman, we have the tactical plans. Yung O, that is operational plans. And of course, yung, letter, yung E, extra departmental. And yung M, that is the management plans. Okay, isa-isa yun natin, class. Pag salama natin procedural plans, class, of course, uh, there is an SOP. Okay, what is uh, SOP stands for, class? What is SOP? Pakilagay nga sa comment section. Nakalagay dyan ang procedural plan. These plans constitute the SOP of the organization. Kaya ano ba, sa PNP, meron yung silang tanatawag na SOP. So, ibig sabihin, yung actions mo. Okay, so... Uh, okay, what is SOP? SOP. Okay, Standard Operating Procedure. Okay, very good. So, of course, uh, very good. So, again, pag sinabi natin procedure of plan, so, meron tayong tanatawag na Standard Operating Procedure. Yung actions mo ba, nakapasok yan sa SOP? So, halimbawa, um... Yung, uh, during operations, ito yung ginagawa mo. So, yan yung tanatawag natin na procedure plan. Na ayon yan sa tanatawag natin na SOP or yung Standard Operating Procedure of the Organization. Ibig sabihin, kapag hindi pasok okay, sa, or hindi nag-constitute yan sa tanatawag natin na SOP of the organization. So, meaning there is a problem. okay There is a failure hindi hindi pasok pa hindi standard yung ginagawa mo class. Kumbaga substandard, okay, yung action na ginawa mo or na employ mo. Yan yung tinatawag natin na procedure plans, okay, in the service or in the police plans. Then of course, we have the tactical plans na tinatawag natin. Ang tactical plans, of course, that is uh, when it comes to application of the uh, procedures to a specific situation. Okay, nakuha niyo. So, yan yung tanatawag natin na tactical plan. Halimbawa, when it comes sa uh, operation. Okay, so, papasok yan sa tanatawag natin na tactical plans. Okay, that's the time you will apply yung uh, procedures to a specific situation. Halimbawa, in, uh, in uh, suicide situation, in hold up uh, situation, and so on. So, yan yung tanatawag natin na tactical plans. Uh, ang pag-uusapan natin dito, yung application of procedures to a specific situation. So, yan. Of course, there is a plan na, na nakalagay dyan. So, ito yung gagawin mo in case na may ganito, may suicide, merong hold up, okay? And, and, and other, uh, another uh, another uh, situation or any other activities or illegal activities. That is tactical plan. Then, of course, we have the operational plans naman. Of course, the work programs of the line division Again, pag sinabi natin uh, operational, of course, yung line division natin, di ba, they are uh, in charge with the direct accomplishment of the uh, objectives and goals of the police organization. So again, ang pag sinabi natin line, di ba, sila, sila yung sa traffic, sila yung sa investigation, sila yung sa patrol, vice control, and so on. So yan yung uh, trabaho, of course. Yan yung uh, plans na sinusunod when it comes sa OPE, sa line division. Yan yung tinatawag natin na operational plans. Then, of course, we have the extra departmental plans. Di ba? Extra or outside of the department or outside of the organization. Ito yung mga actions class or assistance uh, from person or agency outside the police organization. Di ba? Of course, uh, para ma-establish natin yung ating, uh, yung ating image, 
Diba? Of course, kailangan na natin makipag-partner sa ibang uh, agencies. Ang PNP makipag-partner sa Philippine Coast Guard and other and other agencies. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng extra departmental plans. Okay? So, of course, diba, with the community, okay, kailangan na natin kasi ng, ng support ng community. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng extra departmental plans. Then, of course, we have the management plans. Of course, equipping, staffing, and uh, preparing the police organization to do the job. When it comes to management naman, okay, so, ibig sabihin, uh, nililay down yung kanyang functions. Equip or with the uh, resources, yung mga kagamitan. That is in management plans. Staffing, ibig sabihin ng staffing, ibig sabihin, placing of a particular employee to do the job. So, yan yung tanatawag natin na staffing. Of course, kung ano yung uh, expertise niya, doon natin siya ilalagay sa so staffing. And then, of course, preparing the police organization to do the job. So, that is also under the management plan. So, that is the kinds of police plans that we have. Okay, so we have the P2M. Again, pag sinabi natin procedural plan class, that is based on the standard operating procedures of the organization. Pag sinabi naman natin tactical plans, that is more on applications of the procedures on the specific situation or the case. Then, of course, we have operational plans naman, that is the work programs or that is intended na plano sa particularly sa line division natin, which is the frontliner sa ating, uh, of course, police organization. Then, of course, the extra departmental plans outside. Okay, yan yung mga actions or assistance taken outside of the police organization. And then, in relation to uh, an individual's uh, agencies outside of the police organization. Then, of course, we have the management plans that is for the purpose of equipping, staffing, and, of course, preparing the police organization to do the job. That is the management plans or that is under the kinds of of police plans. Okay? So, again, we have the P2 web. Okay? So, yan. Nakuha ninyo? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, okay next tayo. Okay. So, dito naman tayo, pakibasa nga, after na, sir, delatory, dito naman tayo sa types of police plans according to range, okay, sa, sa scope or sa haba, si Sir Florendo. Yes, sir. Types types of police plans are in the range. Number one, short range, like span of one year, plan to meet special incidents. Number two, medium range, like span of two years. Example, um, SOP. Number three, long range, like span of three years or more. Strategic plan. Okay, so thank you. So again, class, so we have the types of police plans according to range. Okay, so so kailan or ano yung haba nito or kailan, ano yung itatagal nito. So pag sinabi natin short range, tanda nyo ang lifespan ng uh, short, uh, short range natin that is only intended class on uh, one year. Okay, one year plan to meet special incidents. Okay, so uh, di ba, of course, di ba, meron kayong sa atin, meron tayong plano, di ba? Uh, kapag uh, halimbawa within the, within this year dapat ano maging uh, registered criminologist ako di ba so yan yung tinatawag natin na short range plan after that after mo ma reach within that year or halimbawa within that one year uh, magpaplano ka na naman ng another one okay another another one year magpaplano naman ako na ganito so yan yung tinatawag natin na short range plan class that is according to range halimbawa sa police service Uh, within 2024, halimbawa, in the 2024, dapat ganito maging uh, fully uh, modernized na ang police service na meron tayo. So, yan yung tanatawag natin na uh, short-range plan. Okay. So, yan yung tanatawag natin na uh, short-range plan. Okay. So, so ang uh, short-range plan, okay. So, may ano dito? Wait lang. May question. Hindi ko makita yung ano. Ano yung question ni ano? Okay. So, ang short-range plan, uh, sir, tactical plan yan, sir. Okay. Ang example, of course, ang uh, short-range plan, example lang yun, ha, yung uh, tinatawag natin na uh, na tactical plan sa short-range. Okay. So, again, tama yon si Lawrence. Ang example class ng short-range or 
saan applicable ang short range plan of course sa tactical okay so yun yung mga uh, operation natin for special incidents di ba so it will be activated but of course kapag every year naman nagbabago naman yung uh, ano kasi di ba yung modes yung operation ng mga crime na nangyayari so of course magpapalit na naman tayo kaya nga short range plan yan Uh, there is plan to meet special incidents. So, applicable yan sa tinatawag natin na tactical plans. Okay, very good, uh, Lawrence. While ang um, medium plans, uh, medium range plan naman, class, ang lifespan yan, of course, uh, two years. Okay, two years. Of course, halimbawa, yung, um, yung SOP or yung standard operating procedure. Saan applicable yung SOP, class? Saan applicable yung uh, SOP kanina as a review? Okay, so pa applicable yan sa procedural plan. Of course, di ba? So, uh, ang medium range, example yan class ng medium range plan. Okay, so ang kung saan yung uh, SOP or standard operating procedure, magbabago at magbabago yan. There are changes. Okay, pwedeng minimal or pwedeng total. Okay, so of course, may mariretain pa rin class. So, that is the medium range. Then, of course, ang long range plan naman, okay, the, ang lifespan niya, 3 years or more. Kaya nga, di ba? long range plan ang tawag natin diyan okay ang lifespan ng long range plan class that is 3 years or more example niyan yung tinatawag natin na strategic plan okay di ba nagkakaroon tayo ng strategic planning okay in the in 3 years and uh, in 4 years in 5 years and so on yan yung tinatawag natin na long range planning so halimbawa uh fina foresee natin halimbawa ang sa ang sa criminology within 3 uh, years or within 5 years uh, marami na hopefully okay uh, 50% hopefully yung uh, mag uh, ano papasa na sa board exam di ba kung titingnan niyo ngayon 30% na yung pumapasa out of 100% so hopefully within 5 years or within 10 years uh, hopefully class 50% na or one or hopefully 80% no ang papasa sa board exam Kasi of course, uh, available na lahat ng mga resources, videos. Then nandito na ako. Okay, wow, parang superhero, no? Okay. So, uh, ayan. So, kasi of course, di ba? Uh, dati, of, compare sa amin or compare sa mga previous batches class. Wala yung ganito. Yung naggumagawa ng mga content na ganito, yung reliable source when it comes to board exam. Yung exemplify. So, walang ganun. Ngayon, yung mga uh, information nandiyan na ipakain na lang di ba ang problema na lang sa student no okay so yung mga mga estudyante uh, hindi uh, committed 100% so wala wala mangyayari diyan so ngayon lahat ng mga resources nandiyan na lahat ng mga ano di ba maraming ang ano maraming ang schools na ano doon yung mga videos ko class na sa yung sa TikTok or sa Facebook Naka na yun, naka slideshow sa kanilang ano, naka, sa kanilang department, 'di ba? Tuloy-tuloy yan, tuloy-tuloy uh, lang. Naka na yun, nag, nag ano sila nag na naman sila ng permission sa akin. Okay lang yun sa akin, 'di ba? So, kaya nga 'di ba sa Luzon Visayas Mindanao, kapag pupunta ako, ako doon lahat followers natin, 'di ba? So, ganun ang impact class, 'di ba? Mas mab mabilis na lang ma, ma catch up, mas mabilis na lang maintindihan yung strategy natin or yung strategy ko uh, the way I of course I explain di ba of course that is part of planning o uh, ila 3 years ago or 2 years ago pinaplanuhan ko yan na ganito dapat uh, every every topics na simplify yung para mas mabilis nilang maintindihan so uh, yan yung tanatawag natin na uh, uh, planning okay so that is the yung tanatawag natin na planning class very importante or very important yung tinatawag natin na planning. So, nakuha niyo So, yon Kaya dapat pagplanuhan natin everything kasi very important yan. Again, ulitin natin, ang short range, ang lifespan niya, class 1 year. Ang example niya is tactical. Ang medium range naman, of course, ang example niya is procedural. Ang long range naman, 3 years or more ang kaniyang capacity or lifespan na tinatawag natin. yon yung types of police plans according to range. Nakuha ba? Nakuha class? Nakuha ninyo? Nakunin, nakunin. Sir, sir nakunin. Nakunin, sir. Nakunin. Okay. Next. Okay. Then, of course, we have the elements of planning. Okay. So, what are the elements of planning na meron tayo? 
Okay, so of course, yeah, uh, what is the goal? Okay, a goal is what do you want to attain? Okay, so ano yung goal mo ba sa sa buhay mo? Or ano yung uh, goal mo or ano yung gusto mong abutin? Okay, so that is the goal. Ang goal ay makabili ako ng iPhone 15. Diba? <laughs> Grabe naman yung goal niya, no? Okay, of course, wala tayong pagkialam sa goal niya. Okay, that is uh, his goal, di ba? Eh, hindi niya naman sinabi kung ilang years or ano ba, ang goal niya within three years makabili siya ng ganun or makabili siya ng laptop. Okay, so that is the goal. What do you want to attain? Then, of course of action, how would you reach your goal? Okay, ano ba, yung goal mo is pumasa sa board exam tapos hindi mo nilagay. Sabi mo lang, gusto ko pumasa sa board exam. Okay, so yun yung goal mo. Pero hindi mo specific ang goal mo. Sabi mo, uh, basta makapasa ka sa board exam. O, di ba? Medyo tagala ni Lord. <laughs> Sabihin niya, okay, 10 years or 5 years mo before ma-reach ma yung, uh, yung goal na pumasa ka sa board exam. Dapat specific. Okay, ganito. Within 1 year, within 2 years, kung hindi man papala rin sa una, dapat within 2 years or within 3 years, makuha ko na yung uh, ano, yung... Uh, yung license ko. Kasi hindi naman basihan ka sa na bumagsak ka or pumasa ka, magaling ka compare sa bumagsak. Hindi. Okay? So, mas marami pa rin or uh, hindi naman yun basihan. Di ba? Uh, pagdating sa recruitment, ang nakuha mo ng first take sa 25%. Yung sa kanya, second taker siya pero ang average niya 85%. Sino yung kukunin sa recruitment? Of course siya, yung second taker na merong 85% na average. Kaya, hindi ba si hand class kung uh, nahuli ka or magsaka ng ng 5 times, 8 times kasi uh, in the real McCoy ang nangyari sa totoong buhay, sila pa yung nagiging successful, di ba? Nakadepende yan sa sa inyo. Okay? So dapat ano ah, ganun yung ganun yung mindset niyo. So alam mo, gusto mong pumasa sa board exam. So yun yung course, what is your course of action? Okay, how would you reach your goal? Ano yung mga gagawin niyo? Of course, mag-review ka. Diba? Makinig ka sa mga lectures ng uh, review center or yung mga lecturers ninyo. Kaya ganito klas ha. So dapat kapag may, kasi diba mostly naman sa inyo nasa face-to-face -face, uh, lecture naman, diba? So in every lecture, so dapat makinig talaga kayo sa uh, lecturers ninyo. Kahit halimbawa, uh, yung iba kasi kapag hindi nila gusto yung lecture, hindi na bumabalik pagkahapon, diba? So so far sa akin, hindi naman. Uh, complete attendance talaga sa akin every time na face-to-face. -face. Like, huwag niyong uh, i-habit yung class. So, dapat, kahit uh, uh, hindi yung gusto yung lecturer, halimbawa, uh, medyo nabuboring kayo, still pumasok pa rin kayo class. May makukuha at makukuha pa rin kayo. Huwag niyong hanapin yung strength or huwag niyong hanapin yung, uh, yung galing or yung strategy ng isang lecturer sa ibang lecturer. Halimbawa, uh, sa akin, huwag niyo hanapin yung strategy ko sa iba. Kasi iba-iba kami ng strength and weaknesses. Of course, uh, ganun talaga class. So dapat, you must res respect ninyo yung mga lecturer ninyo, di ba? Kahit sino yan. So dapat, um, makinig. Of course, uh, huwag niyo silang bastusin, di ba? Sila na sa mga face-to-face. -face. Hindi na sila bumabalik. Nung, ha nung uh, morning, 500, stud ay, uh, 500 students. Tapos nung hapon, 15 students na lang yung natitira. So, ganun class. So, dapat, tuwag hindi ganun yung mindset niyo Kung gusto mong uh, pumasa at mag-tap talaga sa board exam, dapat walain mo yung mindset na yon Dapat, of course, as much as possible, focus ka doon. Okay? So, that is the course of action. How would you reach your goal? So, paano mo ba-achieve yun, yung goal mo? So, dapat meron ka pang course of action, meron ka pang dadaanan along the way. So, hindi yun siya in uh, one setting lang, makuha mo na agad. So, no. Then, of course, implementing group. Who is tasked to do the action? Okay? So, sino yung, uh, of course, ano ba, gusto mong kumasa sa board exam? Sino ba yung uh, implementing group? Of course, ikaw, di ba? Then, of course, the resources needed. What is needed to accomplish the task? Of course, ka, kailangan mo talaga mag-invest sa magandang uh, review center, di ba? Then, of course, kailangan mo mag-invest sa isa magandang uh, review materials. Then, of course, class, hindi naman basihan kung saan review center ka naka-enroll. Okay? But, of course, meron ring impact yun, di ba? Di ba? Then, of course, uh, hindi mo pwedeng ipilit na dito ka mag-enroll kasi magaling sila. Okay? Tapos, uh, yung student, hindi niya makatch up o hindi niya masundan yung lecture ng review center na yun. Huwag mong pilitin. Kasi iba-iba yung uh, learning styles na meron tayo. 
mas basta baka mas gusto niya dito mas mga ketchup sa so yun yung tinatawag natin kaya di ba sa akin kasi mostly sa inyo di ba yung 100 students na na meron na ka-enroll sa akin dito are enrolled in the face to face so kapag uh, kasi di ba uh, hindi ko uh, hindi sila tawag nito hindi sila satisfied sa lecture sa ibang review center, then pupunta sila sa ibang review center or mag enroll sila online. So, walang problema doon. Okay? So, yung gap ng isang uh, or yung tinatawag natin, yung kakulangan ng isang review center, pupuna ng isang review center. So, yun yun naman doon, class. Yun lang naman, diba, ang ano natin, diba? So, hindi naman, hindi naman tayo lahat may monopoly ng knowledge. Okay? So, halimbawa sa akin, hindi naman ako pinakamagaling sa, sa lahat ng area. So, yung kakulangan ko, pinupuna ng, isa, ng ibang review center, di ba? Then yung kakulangan nila, pinupunan ko. So, ganun lang yung ano natin doon, class. Okay? That is the resources needed. So, dapat maging ano ha, maging open-minded. Okay? So, ayan. So, baka may mag-aaway na naman pagdating ng ano, no? Ng result ng board exam kung sino yung pinakamagaling. Okay? Pero wala naman talaga. Okay, joke lang. Okay. Then, of course, we have the time and duration. Okay? When is to be done? Okay? So, when is to be done? Okay, time and duration. So, uh, kailan ba kung uh, tinitingnan natin ma-accomplish yung specific uh, goal and objective? Then, of course, the place and environment where is to be done. Of course, the place. Then, uh, pag sinabi natin goal, okay, pag sinabi natin goal versus objective, of course, magkaiba yung class. Ah. Pag sinabi natin uh, goal class, it is the general statement of intention. And typically, with a time horizon of a year or more. Okay? While ang objective, it is the specific commitment to achieve a measurable result within a specific period of time, usually year or less. Nakuha niyo Ang goal, it is the general statement of intention. Okay? Halimbawa, uh, gusto mong pumasa sa board exam, that is the goal. Ang objective, within, that, uh, within six months or within one year, ma-achieve mo na yung result na yan or makukuha mo na yung license mo. Yun yung tinatawag natin na goal class, compare objective. Again, ang, ang goal, that is the general statement of intention, while ang objective, that is your specific commitment. Within six months, within one year, makuha ko na. I will dedicate myself, I will dedicate uh, my all para makuha yung license na yan. So that is what we call objective, the specific commitment to achieve a measurable result within a specific period of time, usually a year or less. Nakuha ninyo, class? Nakuha ba? Nasundan? Nasundan ninyo? Okay, so 17, so mabuti walang, ano, uh, walang umalis. Okay na ba? Okay na? Sabihan niyo ako class ha, kapag uh, nawala ako sa ano nawala ako sa sa klase baka nagsasalita ako dito wala na pala kayo. <laughs> okay na sir nakuha sir. Okay nakuha. Okay. Sige next. Okay. Okay dito tayo sa okay paki-basa nga si uh, si uh, Clench. Nandiyan ba si Clench? Wala. Yes, sir. Ay, okay. Sige. Pakibasa, sir, ay ng police doctrines that affects planning. Police doctrines that affects planning. Primary doctrine. One, fundamental doctrine is the basic principle in planning, organization, and management of the PNP in support of, of the overall pursuit of the PNP vision, mission, and strategic action plan for the attainment of national objectives. So, Operational doctrine. It is the principles and rules governing the planning, organization, and direction and employment of the PNP forces in the accomplishment of basic security and public safety operations. Number three, functional doctrine. This provides guidance for specialized activities of the PNP National Police in the broad field of interest, such as personnel, intelligence, operations, logistics, and planning. Okay, so we have the police doctrine that affects planning. Uh, ito class, uh, please take note, uh, lumabas to sa board exam kasi that is under the PNP manual. Kaya di ba class, um, before kayo mag-take ng board exam, lalong lalo na sa correctional administration, na-download nyo na ba yung, ano, yung uh, BGMP manual? 
yung parole and probation manual, yung uh, UCOR manual. Na-download nyo, hindi? Na-download ninyo? Hindi ba? Hindi Sino pa. yung hindi na hindi pa? Di ba sinabi ko nung ano? Sinabi ko sa tawag nito. Uh, na-review ko yung uh, ano eh, yung video nung uh, sa ating uh, correction, di ba? Sinabi ko na i-download niyo ang BGMP manual, BUCOR manual, yung probation and parole manual kasi uh, nung board exam, last board exam class ha, doon kinuha mostly ang question sa correction. Kaya di ba yung student ko na top 10, yung si uh, Naldosa Okay so uh, kagabi na nag na, ano yan siya kasi every night nag uh, nag, nag ano yan siya na uh, nagcha-chat. Okay sa so, tama talaga yung sinabi ko na uh, uh, BGMP manual, Bucor manual na doon kinuha yung mga tanong sa board exam. Okay so dapat ka kunin niyo eh, i-download yung class ha, BGMP manual, Bucor manual, PNP manual kasi diyan kinukuha yung mga tanong sa board exam. Okay so dapat i-download niyo ha. Uh, nasabi ko yun sa ano eh nasabi ko yun sa klase natin bakit hindi nyo nandang download so na-remember ko mabuti kasi class uh, ano yan ha kaya yung mga mga average nila sa correction na uh, umaabot ng 95 to 94 yung mga top notcher kasi last na na binabasa or pala binabasa nila before sila ng board exam yung PNP manual BGNP manual BUCOR manual ilang download na ilang search lang naman yan class sa ano sa um, tawag natin sa sa inyong uh, sa, sa Google. So mamaya kung uh, hindi niyo nakita i-i-send ko na lang sa Telegram natin. Okay? So ayan. So i-ano niyo ako ah i-um tawag nito. I-remind niyo ako mamaya sa GC para after ng uh, morning session natin ma-send ko agad-agad. Okay? So kasi class very important yung PNP manual ah kasi very uh, gan yan yung uh, focus ng board exam natin na hindi alam ng iba. Okay lalo na sa ano lalo na sa core ad lalo na sa sa Leia. Madali lang ang Leia class kasi uh, of course 'di ba? So yan. Okay? So kung kung ma-download niyo class much better kung hindi sabihan niyo lang ako. Okay? So we have the police doctrines that affects planning class. We have the primary doctrine of course number one. So under the primary doctrine, meron tayong tinatawag na fundamental doctrine. Ang fundamental doctrine class that is the basic principle in planning. Okay, of course, yung organization and management of the PNP in support of the overall pursuit of the PNP vision, mission, and strategic action plan for the attainment of the national objectives. Kaya, di ba, fundamental, ibig sabihin, the primary doctrine. Okay, yung uh, basic principle and planning. Kasi, di ba, we have the national objectives in the PNP. So, yan yung fundamental doctrine na sinusunod ng lahat, class. While ang operational planning naman, class, ito yung... Um, Rules governing the planning, organizing, and direction of the employment of the PNP forces in the accomplishment of basic security and public safety operation. Of course, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is the uh, operational, okay, in the uh, operation, di ba, for the basic security and public security or pa public safety operations ng uh, PNP. Okay, kasi di ba, pag sinabi natin uh, PNP, okay, so ano ba yung trabaho ng PNP class? Sino ba yung in-charge sa tinatawag natin na uh, internal security and of course yung uh, external security? Sino ba yung in-charge? Pag sinabi natin internal, mm -hmm. Again class, sino yung... Uh, Sino yung in-charge sa internal security? Si uh, AFSC Armed Forces of the Philippines ba or si Philippine National Police? Mm -hmm. Okay, sa nabi ni Sir Binuya, ay si uh, Sir Binuya, ay uh, ma'am pinuya pa sorry palagi kong si Cersei Hana okay so sabi niya PNP is internal AFP naman is uh, external if i'm not mistaken okay tama ba tama ba si Hana tama ba si Hana class
Yes, sir. Tama na lang. Okay. Okay, so kasi okay. So very good. Okay? So of course, class, pag sinabi nating uh, internal security, of course, ang in charge diyan is the Philippine National Police, 'di ba? Of course, together with the uh, DILG or the Department of Interior and Local Government or the DILG. So yes. Okay? So yan yung purpose ng uh, PNP. So ang function nila internal security, very good ha na while the AFP naman of course sila yung uh, tinatawag natin sa external security. Pero class in case of emergency or in, in case of war, sino yung mas uh, sino yung magli-lead between uh, PNP and AFP? Sino yung mas makapangyarihan? Okay, under the constitution ang pag-uusapan natin dito ah. AFP sir. AFP sir. Okay, very good. So AFP yung uh, may mas makapangyarihan. Of course, hindi naman ibig sabihin mas makapangyarihan na siya yung magli-lead, okay? So ang AFP yung frontline natin, kasunod of course uh, si PNP, BFP, BJMP, and other law enforcement agency na sa likod lang 'yan ng tinatawag natin na uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines. Nakuha niyo? Okay, so yan ang operational doctrine. Then, of course, we have the functional doctrine naman. Ang functional doctrine, of course, is provide guidance for specialized activities of the PNP in the broad field of interest, such as intelligence operation, logistics, and planning, and etc. So that is the functional doctrine. Okay, intelligence, logistics, and planning. So functional doctrine. There is a... Uh, Understandable naman, class. Under the primary doctrine, again, under the primary doctrine, we have the fundamental doctrine. Of course, it is the basic principle in planning in the PNP service. While ang operational planning, of course, that is the, the rules governing yung, uh, of course, yung accomplishment of the basic security and public safety. While the fundamental doctrine naman, of course, yung uh, guidance for specialized activities of the PNP. So that is the functional doctrine. Then of course we have the uh, what we call the uh, next uh, question before tayo magproceed dito. Okay, it is very important uh, doctrine kasi na tinatanong during board exam rin. Okay, dito tayo si uh, Rafael Pakibasa. A doctrine formulated jointly by two or more bureaus in order to effect a certain operation with regards to public safety and peace and order. A. Complementary, B. Ethical, C. Fundamental, and B. Operational. Okay, so please answer class on the comment section, then by explain ko. Are you familiar with it uh, with this uh, ano class doctrines? Familiar ba kayo dito? Or hindi? Uh, nandiyan pa ba kayo? O bakit hindi kayo sumasagot? Dito pa dito pa. Nandito pa. Familiar kayo sa doctrines na to, hindi? Ah, hindi ba? Mm -hmm. Ayan, so mayan patay talaga no kapag tinanong sa board exam. Okay, sige. Kung hindi kayo familiar, okay, so ano na lang, gut feel. <laughs> Your gut feeling na lang. Sinabi niya, a doctrine formulated jointly by two or more bureaus in order to affect a certain operation with regard to the public safety and peace, of, peace and order. Lahat ka sumagot ha, okay, explain natin. Okay. 
Okay, so ayan. Mm -hmm. May complementary, merong ethic, merong operational. Okay, so actually class, yan yung sinasabi natin. Kapag uh, if you don't know the answer, then know how to answer, di ba? So kahit hindi mo talaga na-encounter at all, wala ka talagang idea at all sa dinidiscuss natin, uh, still kayang-kaya mo pa rin sagutin to. Sinabi niya, a doctrine formulated jointly. Okay? It is a doctrine formulated jointly by two or more bureaus in order to affect a certain operation with regard to public safety and peace and order. So ang purpose niya, class, halimbawa, yung tinatawag natin, are you familiar? Nawala ba ako? Nawala ba? Na narinig niyo ako? Narinig ba? Oh, yes, okay, sir. Okay. okay, bakit nawala kaya? Yes, ma Maitim na yung ano natin, yung, yung camera. So, i-off ko na lang yung camera. Okay. Nakita so, na po, sir. Okay, sige. Ulitin natin. Okay, so again, uh, a doctrine formulated jointly by two or more bureaus in order to effect a certain operation with regard to public safety and peace and order. So, tanda nyo class, pag jointly by two or more bureaus, na are you familiar with, halimbawa, yung operation ng, uh, ano, yung collaboration ng PIDEA and PNP? Okay, halimbawa, magkaroon sila ng uh, tinatawag natin na drug operations, di ba? Yung uh, by bus operation or yung uh, tinatawag natin na entrapment rather. Okay? So we have the entrapment operation. So yan yung tinatawag natin na uh, complementary or yung uh, letter A that is what we call complementary class. Okay? That is complementary. Okay? Entrapment. Isulat ko na lang ha. Entrapment operation. Okay? That is example of complementary doctrine kasi di ba jointly okay uh, two or more bureaus okay so yan yung tinatawag natin na intra ang entrapment operation class that is the best example for what they call the complementary uh, doctrine okay kasi di ba the two bureaus or that is the the two or more bureaus are jointly um exercising yung tinatawag natin to the effect a certain operation with regard to public safety and peace and order uh, ng, of course, ng ating bansa. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na complementary doctrine. Nakuha nyo na, class? Kahit hindi nyo, hindi nyo to na-encounter, but still nakalagay jointly by two or more bureaus, of course, that is, alam nyo na agad, that is a complementary doctrine. Nakuha ba? Nakita nyo na kung saan kayo nagkamali? Nakita nyo na, class? Yes, sir. Okay, sige. Yes. Okay, next. Uh, next tayo. Okay, so explain natin dito, class. We have the secondary doctrine. Okay, kanina i-off muna natin. So, ang secondary doctrine, we have the complementary and of course, we have the ethical doctrine. Sa complementary doctrine, it doctrines are uh, formulated jointly by two or more bureaus in order to effect a certain operation with regard to public safety and peace and order. So that is complementary. We already discussed that one. So again, ang tanda lang sa complementary doctrine, that is uh, the two bureaus are of course uh, joined together to effect a certain operation. While ang ethical doctrine naman class, ang ethical doctrine of course, yun ba? Pag sinabi natin ethical considerations, kahit sa research, no? Okay, the define the fundamental principles, of course, the rules of conduct, okay? The attitude, the behavior, and the ethical norms of the PNP. So that is the ethical doctrine class, okay? That is the rules of conduct, kung paano nila kina, kinikeri yung kanilang sabili, ano yung attitudes nila towards the citizen or towards the the uh, individuals in the community, yung behavior nila, and of course, yung ethical norms of the PNP. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na ethical doctrine class. Again, under the secondary doctrine, so we have the complementary, ibig sabihin, when uh, the two agencies or when the two bureaus are joined together to effect a certain 
sa a certain operation that is complementary while ang ethical doctrine naman of course that of course yung uh, mga conduct attitudes behaviors and ethical norms of the PNP so nakita niyo na class so familiar na kayo ngayon sa tinatawag natin na uh, doctrines yes sir yes sir okay so again next uh Ayan. Then, of course, we have the principles of the PNP organizational plan. We have the principle of unity of objective. Okay, so an organization is more effective if it uh, enables the individual to contribute to the organization. Okay, tanda nyo, we have the principle of unity of objective. Ibig sabihin, kapag alam ng every uh, member ng organization yung objective ng organization na to, then of course, magko-contribute na sila class, meaning fully, para ma-achieve yung specific objective. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na principle of unity objective. Halimbawa, di ba, sa every organization, sa PNP, so ito yung purpose natin, dapat malinis yung ano natin, yung, um, yung operation. So, that's why papasok yan sa principle of unity of objective. Then, of course, we have the principle of organizational efficiency. Ang principle of organizational efficiency naman, okay, uh, organization structure is effective if it is structured to aid the accomplishment of the organization objective with a minimum cost. Okay, uh, efficient. Ibig sabihin, with the available resources na meron sila, na you utilize nila yon ng mabuti. That is principle of organizational efficiency. Then we have the functional principle. Ang functional principle naman, of course, this implies a system of varied function arranged into a workable pattern. Then, of course, di ba, every uh, employees meron silang particular or meron silang specific uh, task or, uh, or uh, works to be done. So that's why it is a functional principle arranged into a workable pattern. Okay, so nakuha? So yeah, next tayo. Okay, so of course, ang plan natin class, it should be... Uh, Okay, pa ano natin pakibasa muna para magkakaroon tayo ng interaction. Tapos na si Clench no, si uh, Rafael. Ta tapos na si Rafael no, nakabasa na ba si Rafael? Okay, wala well, ay tapos na. Si Madkal, uh, si Madkalam, Mad Madchalang or Madkalam. Nandiyan ba pa? Nandiyan pa ba siya? Uh, si ano na lang si uh, after ni uh, si Miniano Miniano Yes sir Okay pagibasa sa smart then six uh, six steps in planning Smart simple measurable attainable realistic time bound Six steps in planning Number 1 needs assessment Number 2 goal and objective setting 3 definition of alternative methods Four, cost benefit assessment. Five, selection of methodology. Methodology. Six, definition of evaluation methods. Okay, so of course, class, di ba ang planning natin? It should be smart. Katulad rin yan sa tinatawag natin na research, di ba? It should be smart. It should be uh, simple, measurable, attainable, realistic, and of course, time bound. Di ba? Hindi ka naman pwedeng magpaplano tapos hindi mo na magagamit. Talibaw, ang pagpaplano mo within the COVID-19 pandemic. Then ngayon naman, post-pandemic naman, wala na tayong COVID. Meron pa rin, pero still nawawala na. Kaya di ba endemic ng tawag natin doon. So of course, dapat ang plan natin, it should be simple, measurable, attainable, realistic, and of course, it must be time-bound. Okay? Dapat uh, dapat naaayon rin sa sa time. Okay? Naaayon rin sa Kung ano yung meron tayo ngayon. Then of course, we have the six steps in planning class. Kailangan natin ng, tandaan nyo nang palagi dyan, we have the needs assessment. Kasi ang palagi na lang tanong sa board exam, what is the first step in planning? Uh, ang isasagot nyo dyan, uh, needs uh, assessment. And of course, kapag tanong niya, what is the last uh, step in planning? Definition of evaluation methods. Diba? So, palaging tandaan nyo sa board exam class, ah, alam ko na yung strategy palagi. Ang palagi na lang tanong, first step, and of course the sec at uh, the last uh, the last one hindi sila nagtatanong sa middle okay again the six step in planning of course we have the needs assessment of course malalaman niyo kung ano ba yung present particular problem or existing arising problem na meron tayo then goal and objective setting definition of alternative methods 
post benefit selection of methodology yung process then definition of evaluation methods okay so yan ang class ang tanda niyo lang palagi diyan yung number 1 and number 6 needs assessment and definition of evaluation methods okay so we have the step or stages of planning pakibasa nga si sir binuya binuya then I explain natin one by one yan Sir Binuya? Narinig po ba, sir? Oh, yes, narinig. Ay, sir, uh, Ma'am Binuya pa na, sorry. Steps stage in planning. The following provides an orderly means for the development of plans. One, frame of reference. This shall be based on careful view of the matters relating to the situation for which plans are being developed. Two, clarifying problems. A, situations must exist for which which something must and can be done. Three, collecting all, all pertinent facts. No attempt shall be made to develop a plan until all facts relating to, to it have been gathered. Okay. So uh, we have the steps in our stages and planning. So of course, uh, we have number one, the uh, frame of reference. Marami pa to class, ha? isa isa na natin. Mamaya, meron pa yung, uh, ano. Okay, so we have, of course, number one, frame of reference. Very important kasi, kasi nung board exam namin, tananong to, what is the first step or what is the first stage in planning? So ang una dyan, ang itatang nyo, ang, ang sagot natin dyan, frame of reference. Okay, so ang frame of reference na kalagay dyan, it shall be based on the careful view of the matters relating to the situation for which plans are being developed. Of course, di ba? Before tayo nagkakandak ng planning, of course, ano ba yung problema? Ano ba yung uh, suliranin? Or ano ba yung uh, kailangan natin i-resolve kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng, ng planning? Kaya that's why it is the frame of reference. Okay? It is a careful view of matters relating to the situation. Ang number two, we have the clarifying problems. Ang uh, clarifying problems, of course, uh, with something must can be done. Okay, so ano ba talaga, di ba? Ano ba talaga yung uh, yung problema natin na kailangan i-address? Okay, so dapat i-ano natin, i-make uh, sure natin na ito talaga yung existing problem. Then, collecting all pertinent facts, okay? So, no attempt shall be made to develop a plan until all facts relating to it have been gathered. Dapat meron tayong, uh, meron tayong evidence, di ba? Meron tayong mga data, okay, na, na nakuha para, of course, uh, easy na lang okay to uh, to analyze to uh, determine kung ano yung specific situation or specific uh, objectives or uh, solution na dapat nating i-attempt or attempt na utilize then of course number 4 analyzing the facts di ba nakuha na natin yung mga facts uh, of course uh, only such facts as may have relevance shall be considered of course, meron tayong tanatawag di ba, na deductive and of course, inductive. Okay, so from uh, from general to specific. Okay, pag tinabi natin class, from general to specific, what is that reasoning? Is that deductive or inductive? From general to specific. What is that? Okay, so on the comment section, halimbawa, from general na, na information or na data na kuha mo, is specific yan ngayon. Okay, of course, that is deductive. Kapag from specific naman to general, that, that, that is what they call inductive naman class. Okay, so yan. Then, of course, number five, developing alternative plans. Okay, so number five, developing alternative plans. Okay, so ang uh, developing uh, alternative class class, of course, uh, there are several alternative measures uh, to be logically comparable to the needs of the situation. So yan yung tanatawag natin na developing alternative plans in case na hindi mag-function mag or hindi maging successful yung plan at, at place. So meron tayong alternative plans or meron tayong reroute na tanatawag. Then, of course, number six, selecting the most appropriate alternative. Of course, uh, after careful consideration of all facts, uh, isa-select natin ngayon class ang best of alternative proposals. Ano yung pinaka the best among the alternatives na meron tayo? Then of course, number seven, we have selling the plan. So of course, yung plan natin should be effectively carried out and it must be accepted by person concerned at the appropriate level of plans of development. So dapat approve rin sa kanya kasi use, uh, useless rin 
yung pag-create natin ng plano kapag hindi rin i-approve at the end, di ba? Then, uh, number eight, arranging for execution of the plan. The execution of the plan requires the issuance of orders and directives, di ba? So, yan yung uh, arranging for execution of the plan. Number nine, evaluating the effectiveness of plan. Okay, so... Uh, tama ba yung alternative na napili or uh, whether a correct alternative was chosen, whether the plan was correct, and of course, the, yun yung tanatawag natin na evaluating the effectiveness of plan. So, effective ba? Effective, la, effective ba? Or productive ba yung tanatawag natin na plan na nakuha natin? Okay? Evaluating the effectiveness of plan. Okay? So, yun na naman kasi. Ang tanda nyo lang palagi doon, uh, yung uh, frame of reference, that is the first, Okay, so the, that is the first uh, stage in planning or steps in planning. Number two, clarifying the problems. Number three, collecting all pertinent facts. Number four, analyzing the facts. Number five, developing alternative plans. Number six, selecting the most appropriate alternative. Number seven, setting the plan. Number eight, arranging for execution of the plan. And number nine, evaluating the effectiveness of the plan at place. Okay, so yeah. Then, of course, we have the basic steps in police planning. Pakibasa nga uh, si uh, Binuya. Binuya. Natapos na natin sa planning class. Ha? Ang pag-uusapan naman natin dito is the police planning. Okay. So, Binuya? Yes, sir. Okay. So basic, ste basic steps in police planning. Number one, the recognition of the need for a plan. Two, formulation of the plan's objectives. Three, gathering and analyzing relevant data for the analysis of relevant data is intended to provide the planners and the police executive with an estimate of the situation on which to base a decisions. Five, development of the details of the plan. Okay, so we have the basic steps in police planning. Of course, number one, we have the recognition of the needs of per plan. Okay, dapat, of course, i-recognize natin na meron talaga na kailangan talaga ng pagkuplano on a particular organization or particular agency or bureau na meron tayo. Second, formulation of the plan's objectives. Number three, gathering and analyzing relevant data. Number four, the analysis of relevant data is intended to provide the planners and the police executive with, a, with an estimate of the situation in which to base a decision. Number five, development of the details of the plan. Okay, so tanda ninyo, magkaiba yung tinatawag natin na basic steps in police planning sa tinatawag natin na planning lang. Tanda nyo, recognition of the need of plan. Okay? Then ang pinakauna, then of course yung number five, development of the details of the plan ang tinitingnan natin dyan. Okay, so ang tanong ngayon class, okay, ulitin natin. Okay, so what is the first step? Okay, ilagay nyo sa baba. Okay, so what is the first step in planning? Again, what is the first step in planning? Again, what is the first step in planning class? Again, what is the first step in planning? Pakilagay sa comment section. Mm -hmm. What is the first step in planning? Nakalimutan nyo na. Again, what is the first step in planning? Narinig nyo pa ako? Serious. Okay, sige. What is the first time in planning? Okay, so we have the frame of reference. Okay, how about what is what we call uh, yung tinatawag natin class na first step in police planning? Okay, what? how about what is the first step in police planning? Okay, again, what is the first step in police planning naman? Mm -hmm. Okay, bakit walang sumasagot? Naglo-loading kayo ha? Okay, very good. Recognition of the need for plan. Okay, how about pag sinabi natin, okay, ilagay yung sagot sa comment section na it is the recognition or it is the determination in advance on what to be done. Okay, what is that? It is the determination in advance on what to be done. What is our answer? 
Okay, that is planning. How about pag sinabi natin, it is the result of planning. Okay, it is the result of planning. Okay, plan. Okay, very good. Okay. So, pag sinabi natin, it is the it is the uh, it is the broad. It is the broad objective. What is that? What is the broad objective? Okay, that is the uh what is that? That is the broad, ang broad class. That is the goal, di ba? Pag sinabi naman natin, specific objective. What is specific objective? Okay. So, pag specific objective, that is strategy. Okay, strategy. Okay, how about it is the uh, procedure? It is the procedure na sinusunod natin. What is that procedure? What is procedure? Okay. Procedure class, yung sequence na tinatawag natin. Okay, hindi pa tayo sa planning ha, hindi ko pa ano. Okay, what is the procedure? O yung sequence of events na tinatawag natin. Okay, yung sequence of activities, ano 'yon? Again, what is the sequence of activities na meron tayo? Sequence of activities. Okay, that is the procedures. Okay, that is the procedures. Okay, how about, okay, what kind of plan is this class? Kapag uh, ginagamit natin based on the uh, standard operating procedures. Okay, based on the standard operating procedures. Okay, meron tayong uh, SOP. Okay, di ba? Okay, so ang sagot natin dyan, that is procedural plans. Okay, procedural plans ang sagot natin, class. Okay, not operational ha. Ang sagot natin dyan, that is, operation, ay, that is procedural plans. How about naman, yung planning na to, ginagamit natin, class, to a specific situation. Uh, okay, specific situation when needed. Okay, so ano yon? Okay, so that is tactical plan. Okay, uh, what particular plan naman ang ginagamit natin, class? Okay, kapag ginagamit natin sa uh, uh, particularly sa line division or line program. Okay, sa line program. Okay, sa naman? Okay, sa line program, of course, that is operational plans. Okay, very good. Okay, it is the plan according to the range or yung tinatawag natin na lifespan. Okay, so ang uh, lifespan nito class is uh, magtatagal sa tinatawag natin na uh, three or more years. Okay, how what kind of plan is that? Okay, so that is long-range planning. Okay, what is the example class ng tinatawag natin na long-range under that particular plan? Strategy. Okay, so pakilagay sa comment section. Okay, of course, ang uh, best example niyan is strategic plan. Okay, how about, what kind of plan is this class? Kapag uh, ang itatagal niya is, uh, ang lifespan niya is within two years. Okay, within two years, ano yung lifespan? Ay, ano yung uh, kind of plan is that? Okay, so that is medium plan. Okay, so what is the example class or yung tinatawag natin na medium plan? Okay, so what is the example of the medium plan? Of course, we have the SOP or the Standard Operating Procedure or yung tinatawag natin na procedural plan is the, the example. Okay, how about kapag yung plan will last only uh, one year? Okay, one year. Okay, of course, that is a short-range planning na tanatawag natin. Okay, very good. Okay, so ready-ready na talaga kayo, class, sa uh, ating uh, uh, discussion. So, ayan. So, mm -hmm. anong oras na? 11. Okay, so mamayang uh, ano, class, Uh, mamayang hapon, nanginginig pa, sir. Nanginginig pa. So, sige lang. Maulit at maulit natin class yan pagdating ng December. Kasi magkakaroon tayo ng mga Q&A. 
ano na ka mag Q&A na tayo class in all area doon. So, of course class, 'di ba? Uh, kahit hi, ano pa nagko-Q&A naman tayo, nagbibigay ako ng uh, nag-insert ako ng mga Q&A dito para mas makita niyo yung ano, yung uh, application kasi boring talaga kapag pure lecture lang, 'di ba? So, na-try ko 'yan, naging student rin ako. Na-try ko yung ganun na uh, nakakatulog ako yung pure lecture lang talaga yung walang mga exercises kaya medyo medyo boring okay okay so nakuha niyo so mamayang hapon class uh, we will proceed at the uh, comparative models in policing so babalik kayo mamaya uh, at 1:30 pm 1:30 so sa comparative models in policing tayo then uh, para after ng comparative isa na lang yung subject na natira sa Leia sa ano na lang sa CFLM madali na naman ang CFLM okay so ano natin nagutom na ba kayo so ayan i-send ko lang yung